Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, stay up to date with all the latest content. So today I want to share with you seven services that you can offer with your football training business. Now, these seven services that I'm about to talk about today are some of the services which I offer in, in my football academy. And they're some of the services that you can offer so that you can grow and scale. And also, be, because you're offering more services, you can also work with more players and you can have different types of levels for those services, right? So by levels, I mean ability levels, okay? So the first service that you can offer is what I like to call master classes. Okay, so master classes are also known as clinics or team training sessions. So one of the ways that you can do these or, or create these is partnering with local teams, local football teams in your area who maybe their coach is not very experienced or maybe their coach is a volunteer and working alongside that team and offering them a service where you can run a weekly session for that team so it helps with their development okay so these are what i call master classes so they are type of clinics okay if you're working with a team you can do team specific training and if you're looking to offer offering a clinic master class then you can run clinics that focus on different areas of the game such as shooting, dribbling, striking, goalkeeping, all the technical aspects of uh, football training, right? Now, the second type of service is academy sessions. So academy sessions, also known as group sessions, are where you can run these sessions maybe Monday to Friday, one or two hours in the evening, okay? So typically, the way our sessions run what we do is we run our sessions Monday to Friday, anywhere between 5 to 7 p.m. And what we do is we have the first hour, we have our pre-academy age group where younger kids come in and we work with them in groups. And then the second hour is designed to work with older players who are 10 ages 10 and up. Okay, so I call these academy sessions. And these could be also, you know, you might know them as group sessions, right? These are groups of players where you can work with any, any group up until maybe 10 to 15 players at once, okay? Now, the third type of service is one-to-one -one training. So one-to-one -one training is where you work with an individual and a coach, and an individual and a coach works together, and that session is pretty much designed and tailored to the needs of the athlete or the player okay so these one one-to-one -one sessions hours normally run for one hour and we have a curriculum that we have in place for for the players that we for the coaches who are working with one-to-one -one players okay so you can run your sessions maybe on a saturday morning okay or if you have some available time slots they could be on the uh, weekdays in the evening but one-to-one -one sessions normally one player one coach you work together each session is tailor-based and personalized to the needs of the player okay 60 minute sessions and this is a higher type of uh, commitment for the client Right now, the fourth one is Little Dribblers. Okay, so Little Dribblers is a program that is based mainly for players aged two to three years old. So these are more for toddlers. Okay, so something you could do is on a Saturday morning, you could run your Little Dribblers program where you're working with anywhere up to 20 players at once in an hour, an hour slot. Okay, and you can have two or three coaches for 20 to 25 uh, kids within that age group, all training at once, okay, and making sure that session runs efficiently, successfully, and making sure there's a lot of fun around these training sessions, okay? So your little dribblers program are for ages anywhere between two to three years old, 
which are mainly based for toddler age groups. Okay, and you can run them on a Saturday morning from 9 to 10 or 10 to 11, okay, in the morning. Okay, now the fifth one is holiday camps, also known as summer camps or seasonal camps. So if you live in a country where there is school holidays, for example, you've got Christmas, you've got Easter, and then you've also got the summer, these are great opportunities to run holiday, holiday training camps. Now these camps can be tailored and designed for different types of players. You could run, you know, open group camps where you've got ages between six, to 14 years of age all in their individual groups okay but the ability level is mixed also you could run more elite type camps where these might run for 90 minutes okay you could run them from monday to friday they are 90 minute uh, camp for elite players and players that i want to look into play at a higher level and you could also bring in you know, club scouts, uh, college recruitment staff, anyone that is higher up in the game to come and see these players at those camps, right? The other open group camps, these are camps where you can run maybe nine to three, 10 to four, okay? And these are designed more for, for parents who have to work and are looking for, for extra training during the holiday season, when kids are not at school okay now the sixth one is tours okay so tours or football tours as we call them this is a type of training that you can grab so if you're based for example in the US and you might be working with a team or you might be working with a group of players right you might partner with a company that does international tours so if you're based in the US, you might want to do an international tour to the UK or to Spain or to France or to Belgium. Okay, And what these tours do, it's an opportunity for you to take maybe 15 to 20 players to the UK, to France, to Spain, to Belgium, okay, to Europe. And what you can do, all part of the package, is you can set up or even have the company set up uh, local matches for your players. So not only are they going to be training with you or with a local trainer in a foreign country, so they're going to get a different type of coaching experience, but also you can set up some competitive matches for them where they're getting to experience what it's like playing against players who are not from that country. Right? Now, if you need more help with these, these type of services, then you can get in contact with me. There's a number of ways you can do that, right? Visit the description in the video below. I make it a mission every single day, Monday to Friday, to, to talk with coaches about their football training business. So if you have any questions about the five services that I mentioned today that you can offer as part of your training business, then contact me and also before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content.